You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman. In the name of Jesus, the week will not end until every one of those blessings appear. If it is help, let it appear. If it's prosperity, let it appear. If it's restoration, let it appear. If it's wisdom, let it appear. If it's a miracle job, let it appear. In the name of Jesus, whatever needs to happen this week to move you forward, that you will make constructive progress in your life, your destiny, and also in advancing God's program. I agree with you, may it happen speedily. This week I declare over you that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and that every tongue that rises up against you will fall in judgment. You have no business with death this week. Your loved ones are supernaturally protected. I speak abundance to your life. I speak favor to your life. Your love for Jesus is waxing hotter and hotter. You will see results this week. Supernatural testimonies this week. On Sunday, you will be the first to stand and testify. And in the name of Jesus, let there be a renewed orientation in you. Let there be a renewed orientation in you. That God can do without me. God can do without you. But he has chosen as an act of his mercy and grace to make you a major part of his program. And there is nothing the devil can do about it. You believe that? Shout amen. amen. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Men will look at your life and they will literally see your contribution and they will see the God factor too. Nobody will confuse the hand of God upon your life. Nobody will credit your results entirely to your efforts. It will be so spectacular. It will be clear that you were in partnership with God. Ministry in partnership with God. Business in partnership with God. Parenting in partnership with God. I pray for you. The forces that fight God's program, fight your role in actualizing God's program. I curse them right now in Jesus' name. By the ministry of the blood, I decree and declare over you that every legal access Satan has over your life and over your bishopric, in the name of Jesus, let the blood speak right now. Let the blood speak mercy. Let the blood speak freedom. Let the blood speak jubilee. Let the blood speak liberty. Number two, I pray for you that the wisdom that is needed in this new season, wisdom grows because it is alive. The wisdom needed to scale your impact, the faith needed to dare things that men cannot even dare. And in the name of Jesus, the empowerment of the spirit that helps you to run through a troop and to leap over walls. In the name of Jesus, may they rest upon you. Empowered by wisdom, receive it. Empowered by the spirit of faith, receive it. By this impartation, fear dies in your life. The fear of the past dies in your life. The fear of opinions of men die in your life. The fear of failure dies in your life. The fear of the future dies in your life. In the name of Jesus. And then I pray for you. Seeing that even your destiny is men dependent. Everyone ordained by God to show up in your life, your ministry in this season. To make your calling and your election sure. I pray that speedily they will show up. I pray that speedily they will appear. I say it again, speedily they will show up. Speedily they will appear. Everyone who is holding something that should be given to you by God. I declare may God put it in their heart to release it to you. May my God put it in their heart to release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The Bible says, and thy ear shall hear a voice saying, this is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the left or to the right. Every confusion in your life. You have been praying for direction. This week, find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Rise to a new dimension. 
rise to a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life I decree it in the name of Jesus number two I declare for your shame receive double I say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare the Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind every manifestation of fear in your life I cause it right now I cause fear the fear of death the fear of the past the fear of the present the fear of the future the fear of men in the name of Jesus Christ number three I decree and declare for as long as I'm alive I will keep praying this upon your life the grace for favor may that grace rest on you receive the grace for favor in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I stand upon this grace and I pray stretching my hand over someone the grace that causes ordinary men to prosper in such an extraordinary way the grace that was upon Isaac that made him to sow in that land and to receive that same year an hundredfold and the Bible says the man began to prosper. He went forward, he advanced until he became very great and even until the Philistines envied him. I stretch my hands at the count of three. Let that grace come on someone and rewrite your financial story. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The power to prosper. I release that grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Koinonia, receive it into your spirit receive it into your spirit the power to prosper rise above every economic climate in the name of jesus that by this anointing in famine you shall laugh when men say there is a casting down economically you will say there is a lifting up by this anointing i forbid you from begging in the name of jesus christ a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life I decree it in the name of Jesus number two I declare for your shame receive double I say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare the Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind every manifestation of fear in your life I cause it right now I cause fear the fear of death the fear of the past the fear of the present the fear of the future the fear of men in the name of Jesus Christ number three I decree and declare for as long as I'm alive I will keep praying this upon your life the grace for favor may that grace rest on you receive the grace for favor in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I stand upon this grace and I pray stretching my hand over someone the grace that causes ordinary men to prosper in such an extraordinary way the grace that was upon Isaac that made him to sow in that land and to receive that same year an hundredfold and the Bible says the man began to prosper he went forward he advanced until he became very great and even until the Philistines envied him I stretch my hands at the count of three let that grace come on someone and rewrite your financial story one two three take that grace now take that grace now the power to prosper I release that grace receive it in the name of Jesus Koinonia receive it into your spirit receive it into your spirit the power to prosper rise above every economic climate in the name of jesus that by this anointing in famine you shall laugh when men say there is a casting down economically you will say there is a lifting up by this anointing i forbid you from begging in the name of jesus christ every power that fights you fights your rising fights your becoming fights your manifesting in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I speak to every spirit that is not of the Christ that it be banished from your life banished from your experience banished from your space in the name of Jesus Christ that to carry this consciousness forever
that the life giving river flows only through life giving spirits it can flow into any spirit but it only flows out from life giving transformed and empowered spirits may the lord bless you people there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of jesus the giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain they say when your father did not climb there your mother did not climb there i pray for someone again in the name of jesus for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker i i release that grace upon you listen god who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where i am today i pray for you may god announce your names to kings announce your name to governments announce your name to captains of industry in the name of jesus christ I pray for anyone here you have struggled with prayer is something you can't tell anyone but every time you go to pray you are sleeping you are snoring you watch people pray generating power but the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus genuine authentic grace for prayer let it rest on you now let it rest on you now pastor let it rest on you now businessman let it rest on you now the grace to wake up and pray pray yourself to greatness i release that grace upon you now number two laziness over the study of scripture there is no book you are brought that you've been able to read you've not been able to read one book of the bible you are a sincere christian it's been a struggle it's not by trying once that grace is not there you will struggle i pray for you passion for the word may it consume you may it consume you may it consume you may it consume you in the name of jesus christ the grace for signs and wonders bringing evidence to your Christian work you're a man of God here receive it it takes power to give witness to the resurrection I pray for you fearful evidences of God's grace striking testimonies begin to experience it in your life begin to experience it in ministry begin to experience it in your life extraordinary wonders may it be rushed through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that draws men the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously. Whether it's ministerial value, professional value, business value, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. By this grace that comes upon you now, everybody who needs what you carry, I gravitate them to your destiny. I gravitate them to your destiny. I gravitate them to your destiny. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, "Doth not wisdom cry. I'm praying for you. The era of foolish decisions, trouble-making decisions, destiny-pegging decisions, by this impartation of wisdom, may you begin to make superior decisions. <laughs> superior decisions. Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare favor. Whether you go out, whether you come in, whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are outside Nigeria, may that favor compel men to help you speedily. Compel men to help you speedily. Let me pray for your finances. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying for you. May God do something in your life between now and the end of July that will change your finances. Honestly, if you have the faith to believe this, may God do something in your life. May God raise a man. May God bring an idea. May God make your proposal pass through. By any godly means, arise to a new financial status. Rise beyond the realm of begging. Rise beyond the realm of borrowing. I say it again. Rise beyond the realm of begging. Rise beyond the realm of borrowing. You will lend to nations. In the name of Jesus Christ. May my God give you treasures of darkness. And the hidden riches of secret places. Let me pray for you. When I season where... Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short. When people are just about to emerge to a new layer in ministry and destiny, they just die like that. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall not die. Receive it or you shall not die. Not by sickness, not by accident. Not by witchcraft, not by oppression. Anybody cooking up enchantment against you, let it backfire back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again, anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year, their evil returns back to them. Hallelujah. There are people here, look at me. Now, I'm not saying going abroad really means anything but there are people there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of Jesus the giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain, they say when your father did not climb there, your mother did not climb there, I pray for someone again. In the name of Jesus, for the sake of his majesty, you will be a record breaker. 
for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker I, I release that grace upon you listen God who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where I am today I pray for you may God announce your names to kings announce your name to governments announce your name to captains of industry in the name of Jesus Christ everything that fights your influence fights your relevance by this grace it dies here tonight hear me every man of God connected to this grace every true son and daughter in ministry I pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor Jesus in your life I will multiply them they will not be few I will glorify them they will not be small I say it again be multiplied may you experience the glory of God now hear me hear me we're wrapping up my apologies for stretching you but you'll be surprised what will happen to you listen can I tell you the truth not everybody has been mandated to help you stop looking for everybody to help you this is not how it works and don't choose the person to help you by yourself you will make a mistake you will choose in the flesh but you need one person I can point strategic people who appeared in my life and brought years and added them to my life I've seen my own may you see your own in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of Jesus Christ by your reception of these manifold graces I'm praying for you results you have not seen from January till July begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from January till now I say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things driving good people making you see good as evil and evil as good I decree and declare let that cloud be lifted from off your head prayed you are fasted it has refused to change I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord give you a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song for someone God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus whoever must come into your life for your rising wherever they are may they come speedily everywhere your job is may God locate you and take you there you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ I say it upon you you are blessed I say you are lifted I say help us come to you I say doors open for you in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again you are blessed you are lifted help us come to you oh let ministry be easy for you you access resources supernaturally I stand by the anointing by the God who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward I prophesy to you go forward now 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 who am I prophesying to 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I call upon he who has the key of David the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door every door that has been closed over your career over your life over your destiny I declare a father be open 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 be open be open doors of strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen i have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it i have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door. Strategic doors. Relational doors. Financial doors. Spiritual doors. Sabra gabaga barakatash, lega prate ke barakatos, ke prate ke baka barukatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens 
when a door opens there is no restraint again an open door means access to the next level all the rooms in a house are separated by doors just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house you can be in the living room but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed and if it does not open when you are hungry you will be in the house and be dying of hunger the door to the restroom can be closed when you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open it brings discomfort hallelujah praise the name of the lord i want you to bring all those that the power of god will rest on them now whilst you are seated whilst you are seated whilst you are seated i want to make a declaration this is not just for individuals all these people are representing families i'm seeing in the spirit families tied down by chains doors that have closed over them this is what god is revealing to me i want to bring them out every family here not just you are individuals but you are representing families no one has been able to go forward there is an embargo that has sat upon families in the name of jesus christ i call upon el shaddai i call upon the warrior whilst you are seated anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down tied your family down right now by the fire of the holy ghost let it descend upon that family now let it descend upon that family now Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. me the Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you is a barrier breaking anointing something that has never been done in your family you have seen it in your visions you are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now bring them out the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of Jesus, dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family, may you cross it now. Levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family, step into it now. Step into it now. Step into it now. Hallelujah. Listen. When angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward I prophesy to you go forward now 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 Alenda kapara sateke balako sabash rabada kaparako siata go forward go forward in ministry Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you. Go forward. Go forward in career. Ten years without promotion. 
15 years without promotion. Go forward now. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus. After many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen. We're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. That which is yours in prophecy. In the name of Jesus. I gravitate it. Let it enter your hand. Let it enter your hand. In this season. Let it enter your hand. I'm praying for you again. Anyone bearing gifts. Gifts of help. Gifts of wisdom. Gifts of access. Gifts of ideas. Meant for you and your destiny. And in the name of Jesus, you have not been able to meet together. I declare that connection happens in this season. That prophetic divine connection happens in this season. It happens in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands on a man of God. I stretch my hands over a business person. By God who has shown mercy, receive speed. Speed in ministry. Speed. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your finances. In the name of Jesus. Let me prophesy to you. Become on time. Manifest on time. Acquire on time. Conquer on time. Receive the anointing on time. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray. Concerning the areas of your life where you know that the word of God has not yet prevailed. Please open up your mouth and pray. The Bible says so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. When the word of God grows, it always prevails. When the word of God grows, it always prevails. Someone is praying. This year doors must be opened in the name of Jesus. Shaprakatoske de brende ke barakatoska likata embraka barakatoske frete ke bereketas ke frontas ke berendo shoto bregede beleketa someone is praying in the name of Jesus exceeding great and precious promises concerning my life concerning my destiny concerning the purposes of the kingdom Someone pray. Those who are following online, make sure you pray. Make sure you pray. Are you praying? access to the exceeding great and precious promises that by these 
we might be the partakers of his divine nature that by these we might be the partakers of his divine nature in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I want you to concentrate on the area that does not seem to work don't pray prayers of unbelievers Lord what is it except if you are praying an inquiry prayer otherwise the scripture you know place it there why is this not working lord your word says this i engage i engage with understanding some of you is because you have not engaged with understanding open up your mouth and begin to cry to heaven that area you want god to visit you in go ahead and pray this threat of death over my life the bible declares that i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord death you have no power over my life in the name of Jesus Christ, recurrent illnesses, I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, for he gives me health and cure. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your path is as a shining light that shines more and more more and more more and more even unto the perfect day in the name of jesus christ i arise and i shine i arise and i shine my light is come the glory of the lord is risen upon me in the name of jesus i declare that i am a blessing a blessing to the nations according to genesis chapter 12 and verse 3 that in me and through me the families of earth are blessed i declare in the name of jesus from europe to america from canada to africa and all the 30 states of this nation you are blessed in the name of jesus christ I'm delivered from six things, yea, even seven things. In famine I laugh. I'm delivered from the scourging tongues of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thou will show me the path of life, for in your light I see light. 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 Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. In the name of Jesus Christ. One more minute. Go ahead and declare. Declare over your ministry. Declare over your family. Declare over your job. Declare over your assignment that in the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God grows mightily and it prevails. It grows mightily and it prevails. It grows mightily and it prevails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. We're wrapping up now. This fire is burning in this place. Luke chapter 5. Give us from verse 1. Luke chapter 5. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the Lord, he stood by the lake of Gennesareth, 2, reading to 6, and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. 
and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship verse 4 now when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch into the deep and let down your nets for a draught verse 5 and simon answering unto him said master we have toiled in this abuja master i was even born in the place of plenty master all kinds of excuses but here is your prayer point nevertheless 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 i know that i may not have paid attention all through 2022 but nevertheless at thy word not at my emotions i did nevertheless my emotions it failed me nevertheless man failed me but this time around nevertheless at thy word i will let the net down verse 6 the bible says and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break now listen listen please look up go to verse 4 I want to show you something there look very carefully when Jesus spoke to them he said let down your net n e t s go to verse 6 they only let down one net and the only net that they let down in fear was the only one that was filled he said let down your nets all of it financial nets spiritual nets you only let down your net in terms of relationship and that was the only one that was filled now he's speaking to you what is withholding the other nets he has told you nevertheless let down the nets let down the nets let down the net spiritually let down the nets every aspect of your life can have a catch open your mouth and begin to declare nevertheless at thy word nevertheless at thy word nevertheless at thy word in the name of jesus christ for my health nevertheless at thy word i may be diagnosed of a situation right now but nevertheless at thy word even while receiving treatment i declare nevertheless at thy word my finances may not be healthy right now but nevertheless at thy word go ahead and pray let this grace called favor rest upon you now let this grace called favor rest upon you now unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance i say it again unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance by this grace you will lay up gold as dust in the name of jesus take that grace take that fire let it follow you to your office let it follow you to your homes let it follow you to every nation go and prosper by this grace called favor may men arise to help you may men arise to help you kings will entreat your favor in the name of jesus i am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve god we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life.
abundantly.